Welcome back guys. Today is part two. Two of the build. Today, the crank and the pistons, they get put into the block. So, watch this space. Time to put the uh, bearings in. So these are ACL bearings, by the way. So the time goes into the little groove in the block. I'm just guessing. I don't know anything. Delicate work, making sure I get it right. So what we're going to do after this is then put the rest of the bearings, put them into the girdle and then we put the crank in here without any lube. So then we can uh, basically check our clearances once we've done that, then we'll take, we'll carefully take out the crank. Uh, well, take off the girdle, take off the crank, and then we can lube it up. That's if the uh, clearance is all right. There you have it. We'll drop the crank in in a second. So as a noob, I was going to drop the crank in dry, read the plastic gauge, because that's what we're rolling with. We're not a specialist operation here. And they told us that we need to uh, basically lube the bottom half, um, maybe spin the crank or do the top half as well, then clean it up and then basically check the clearances. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to get the flush washers, flush uh, bearings as well, put one this side, one that side. And then we can put the crank in. So these are the uh, ACL flush washers and uh, flush bearings, should I say. These go on the outside like that and they've got like, little grooves that allow all the oil to pass through. So we'll put these in. So it's on the back side so it'll help it stick. There you go. Put some on put some lube on my finger. Just make sure there's a bit of lube on them. Get it in. Two. Yep. Bring her in a bit more level. Like so. Yeah. Uh, a little spin to make sure it's seated right. Both ways and. Right, but uh, cool. So now wipe these tops, and then we can put the yeah. plastic gauge on. I mean, I actually remember back to when I did my RB. It was actually quite handy to leave that little strip of grease in the middle because you could actually stick the plastic gauge to it. Ah, sound. Um, just maybe try and position your crank up to see you haven't got your oil ways. Yeah, shown. if we do it like that, we'll just there. We'll just hang on around. Yeah, cool. So these are the clearances that we're looking to achieve, or between 0.17 mil and 0.14 mil, if you can see that. So that's on journals 1, 2, 4 and 5, and then on journals 3, 0.25 to 
0.049 mil. So as you can see, they're extremely tight. And this is the plastic gauge that we're going to be using. So it's a great stuff. So we can measure that. So there we go. Plastic gauge is going in. I'm too heavy handed for this shit. Right, so what we've got to do is torque them down to 22 foot pounds of torque and then we need to then, uh, I think it's 56 degrees after that and that gets the torque. Then we can take the girdle off and yeah, see what our clearance is there. So that, I'm just dropping the girdle bolts in. Just put a bit of engine oil in, just to help with uh, getting the torque. Just the last two. So I'm going to torque these bolts to 22 foot pound of torque. The sequence is written there. So we make sure that we do it right. And then we've got to do 56. So we'll all go to 22 foot pounds. So start with this one. Now I need to get my uh, torque angle gauge. <laughs> Still. Just a bit more. There we go. Cool. Last one. Oh, no, that one's second to last one. Second to last one. Back to zero. This is what we're doing here. If you can see it, set to zero and then just move it so we get 56 degrees. So we're just finishing up with a, a quick go at it, just make sure that we're uh, we're doing it correctly. Excellent accuracy with me holding it. Hand model. Yep. Yep. So, just checking the bearing clearances. So, service limit is uh, 0.05. So, 0 0.05. We've got 0 0.045. And when you put it up to that, we bang on the money. And that's pretty much that one's. A tiny little bit smaller so that'll be just on just on the limit there but all the rest of them are exactly the same uh, the third one as well that that's fine so from one to five journals they're all pretty much bang on with what they should be um, so pleased about that we can actually get it cleaned up and put the girdle on and it's time to put the pistons in. I'll quickly show you this. So we've got the sealant around. Just going to put the cradle or the girdle back on and torque it down because apparently you don't have long of this stuff.
spanner on there. Oh, look at that. Groovy. Don't See that? Don't need a spanner on it. Smooth as butter. How I feel. Ooh. Let me have a go. Wow. There's no resistance there whatsoever, is there? No. Obviously, I mean, it doesn't. Because it's got sticky assembly lube in there, but it's, you, know, you can tell how it feels. Yeah. Yeah. It's smooth as ever. Like butter. Makes it as you put your rods on one by one, you check it and it should gradually get a little bit more resistance, but it shouldn't feel like it's binding. No. Right, so all we've got to do now is put these little bot bolts in. I'll not bore you with that. And then what we're then going to do is um, start putting the pistons in. We're getting ready to put the pistons in. So ACL bearing is in the bottom. All the um, piston rings are clocked. There you go. So all of them are to... At Wiseco Pistons um, spec. So what we're going to do, we've got a compressor, ring compressor there, a Wiseco one, made for us. So Liam's kindly brought it down for us. So with this, obviously, got to get it nice and square. Listen to me, I sound professional. The crank's at the bottom dead centre, so we're going to drop the piston in. We're not going to hit that, but hopefully we should keep it square anyway. Yeah, the pistons in the right orientation, that type of thing. So this should uh, basically go as smooth as possible. Right. Flip her over. Yeah, when you do these things for the first time, it's like, oh, is that too much? Is that too little? You just don't know, do you? It's mate, it's so, like, so nerve wracking. Yeah, so apprehensive about it all. It's like, it's like, get somebody to do it for you, dude. Like, no. Again, classic age recommend a bit of lube on there. So, just put a tiny little bit on just to help it to stick. Right, so we've got the piston in. Got um, the plastic gauge on and also some ARP grease on the bolt. So we're going to torque these down to uh, 43 foot pounds. Oh, help if had the right uh, size, wasn't it? <laughs> and she moved. Hopefully she's all right. right. Oh, seemed a bit easier than <laughs> expected. Right, line these babies back off and see what the uh, see what the damage is. That is 0.45. Yeah, so it's bang in there. Slack end of stock clearance, which is what you want for turbo yeah. in it. So yeah. perfect. So the stock clearances are uh, 0.020 to 0.050, and the service limit is uh, 0.060. So this is, if you can see it, probably not, but the bottom there, 0 0.45. Just take you over to it. Look at that there. So all we'll do now is pretty much repeat the process. Might just keep the camera rolling and then you can just see what we do.
just like that she's done all four pistons checked all the clearances bang on so I think we've got 0 0.045 from every single one so yeah I don't know what we're doing next probably work on the head so we can build the head um, as soon as we've built the head I guess get head can go on and then we can get all the time and gear on uh, once that's done obviously put the sump you've got the oil pump as well we need to get that on but I hope you enjoyed this video I want to thank you to Liam for popping down and just hanging out and helping us and just reassuring us um, yeah so stay tuned there's more to come take it steady peace <laughs> Purple Lamborghini, purple Lamborghini, look